This is Chrissy cooking at home. I'm Chrissy. No, be surprised. It's in the name, right? So today, after I get the kitchen cleaned up, I'm going to do canning potatoes. I have a lot of potatoes to can, but I only have one pressure canner and it only holds seven wide mouth quarts at a time. So it's going to be a couple of days project. It's early in the morning. It's July, it's gonna get hot, but it's gonna be cooler today thanks to rain and thunderstorms. So it's only gonna get up to 80. Still hot, but not as hot as it has been. So today, tomorrow, and maybe Monday, I can get the potatoes canned. So I gotta get the kitchen cleaned up and then get the jars washed and get everything set up and we will get going on canning potatoes. And I'll bring you along for Canon potatoes, even though there's a million videos on YouTube doing it. I'll bring you along anyways. Okay. I need to come up with a system to figure out how to do seven quarts. Because the National Center for Home Food Preservation has never been very reliable for me on figuring out how many pounds for how many quarts. And it does say approximate. So I think what I'm going to do... I have the jars clean, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring them over here, one over here, one of them over here. And I'm going to slice the potatoes and I'm going to fill a jar. I'm going to dump it into my water because I'm going to boil to remove starch. And then <clears throat> I need seven, so I need to do it seven times. I'm going to leave these skins on. Skins don't bother me. These are just salt potatoes. ones that are going to fit in my slicer really well, like this one, not so much, because it's a little too big. So what I can do is just kind of narrow the sides down a little bit. And I love this slicer that I got from Pampered Chef. What I have is a 10 pound bag that I got for like $4, I think it was $4. Here. It's got some nice gripper rubber feet on it. Let's see if I can do this without waking up the house. So I'm going to do this big one first. And I'm doing it in here so I can get nice uniform. Slices. Make sure it's not on the french fry setting. What do we got? On the floor. Let's see what we look like on six. you back real quick I drained what was in the pot it was getting very very starchy I plugged my sink and put in fresh cold water put the potatoes in here let them sit for a minute while I rinsed out the pot and then picked out all the ones that had bad spots or were just bad 
trim them up if I needed to, and then put them back in the pot to rinse, rinse out the sink, repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. And now I have clear water as the potatoes sit here. They're not leaching any more starch. So I'm going to take them and put them in a pot of clear, fresh water again. And now we're going to boil. So I'm going to bring this up to a boil. And once it's up to a boil, I'm going to boil for two minutes. And then I'm going to shock in fresh ice water. So we're going to let this out. I will put fresh water in with some ice and shock them. And then I will load them up in my jars with some fresh water, load them up in the canner, and get to going. So I thought I'd just show you, you want, you know, fresh, clear water. Starch be gone. Okay, so I boiled them, I drained them, and then they're in this water. This water is still fairly warm, but they've been rinsed. Now we're going to pack our jars. And then we're going to fill the jars with water. You can see some of them are breaking apart from where they've been boiled. They'll finish cooking in the pressure canner, obviously, because a little bit. Okay, I got my water. I got my chopstick for debumbling. I got my dish of water here and some torn pieces of paper towel. I got my rings. I got my lids. We want one inch headspace. I need my measuring tool. That's the only thing I forgot to grab, people. Did pretty good. One thing. Get in there. That's more than an inch. Where's my label? Two things I forgot to grab, people. Because we're at three quarter inch. Clean your rims, people. Clean your rims. You gotta rim it. Clean your tip tight. seven quarts, right? That's what I want. 
Alright. Fill in quart. Three. I don't know why I didn't do this before. Sometimes I do my steps out of order. Do its magic, right? And I'll bring you back when it's done and they're out. Okie dokie. And we're back with some potatoes. So Let's pull them out and see how we did. Look how pretty, 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 pretty. Not sure if I see stars on the bottom or potato chunks. <laughs> But even if there's a little starch on the bottom, I'm not all about pretty, perfect jars. Just because, I mean, who am I trying to impress with these jars? I'm feeding my family with them. That is still by far my favorite jar. The stack the best. And there you have it. Let's bring it down. Pretty potatoes. Potatoes. As I work the tripod as best as I can. Okay, so potatoes, you can see I'm a little pink. Let's get a little warm in here because I'm about to bake cookies, but I just finished making uh, early dinner, late lunch because. We got a late breakfast, so it, it is what it is. So, but uh, the water is clear. It smells like water, so I think the potatoes just absorbed some liquid because my headspace is not the same. It's fine. They'll be fine. They all sealed. None of the lids buckled, which means I did not get them too tight. Sometimes I do that, but they're perfect. So, until next time, guys. <laughs>